Greetings, our family, and welcome to another episode of Ask Dr. Mumbi. My name is Dr. Mumbi Saraki. How are you doing? How's everything going? I really do pray, family, that you are well in all your ways and that you're really learning to be mentally self-reliant because that is definitely a survival skill for the seasons and times that we find ourselves in and moving forward. Uh, a lot of you reached out to me, especially our sisters from the motherland. Okay, Arrow, come on. Come on, dude. Come on. Especially from the motherland family who asked me to talk about this, or talk about how, you know, hair relaxers are causing cancer. Uh, let me say allegedly, but it's the, the, the science is there. But we covered this in 2022. This actually happened um, in 2022, October 2022. The U.S. National Institute of Health published a study that found women who used hair relaxers more than four times a year were at a higher risk of uterine cancer. Uh, the study marked a tipping point in the U.S. building on more than a decade of scientific research in which women's exposure to chemicals known as endocrine disruptors appeared to correlate with the development of uterine and breast tumors. There was also a lot of research that was done that showed that the reason so many African women have fibroids compared to European or Asian women was also because of these relaxing chemicals. And so it's amazing to see that a lot of our African-American, you know, our American kin, because we all know not everyone's African-American, but people ain't ready for that conversation. But our American sisters are suing the socks off these guys now. There's a lot of lawsuits that have been launched, which is absolutely amazing. Um, and, you know, it's gained a lot of traction internationally. And I'm really hoping that because of the way news moves, which has brought our world together, so the divided states is no longer the first world and Africa the third world, which was really a curse on us because that meant that everything was slower for us. And what happened is that when people were rejecting things like the baby powders and all that and showing that they were poisonous, a lot of those products would be dumped in Africa. And sadly, that's actually what's happened um, because they're saying this article, it's The Guardian, uh, they're talking about how while many black women in the divided states are now rejecting chemical straighteners, uh, filing thousands of lawsuits against manufacturers in the wake of the study, Sales of products in some African countries continue to climb. And guess which is one of them? Kenya. So they're saying Tunisia, Kenya, and Cameroon are among the countries worldwide leading in the sales growth for perms and relaxers, especially from 2017 to 2022, according to the Euromonitor, a market research firm. They said sales in Tunisia and Kenya jumped 10% over the last five-year span, and South Africa and Nigeria also saw growth. You know, now they're even saying even these even these things we're using to braid our hair for the hot water, that they're extremely toxic. And there's there's factories that have been they've shown some factories where when they're actually preparing the hair, they put masks on because they say the fumes that are released are extremely toxic. It's about that time, family. And I'm not just preaching to you. I'm preaching to myself, too, because I love my long braids. It's about that time, family. And I'm really hoping that our African brothers and sisters because even the men be doing that the, the the what do they call it the blowout will become aware of what's going on and stop straightening their hair family there but to be fair there has also been a massive natural hair movement so it's only those who are still trapped in the babylonian standards of beauty that are still obsessed with the you know the perming of hair you know in kenya i don't know let me know if this was the same in the wherever you're from family but in kenya there was a time where if you had natural hair or dreadlocks you could not be hired by a tv station like you had to either have permed hair or you had to have a this basically you had to be, look westernized and it's only recently like a few years ago that even Kenya had the first woman with dreadlocks on TV stories for other days i think even i and i was one of the first but this is why this shows you family this is case in point where you cannot rely 
on the traditional methods of receiving the news anymore. But we have to become proactive in seeking out what's really going on, in seeking out the truth. And it does get overwhelming because when you start looking for the truth, it's like every single thing we've ever used is bad for us from roll on to all these things. We literally need to just go back to natural on all levels. From using lemon in our armpits and all that stuff, family. Although, to be honest, I can't remember the last time I bought a roll on and all that. I am really, I'm, 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 the, I'm on that natural tip. And... You know, I rarely even shave my armpits, but I'll always see when I get around my bougie friends, they're like, and I wish I could explain to them. Anyway, family, please look into, this is what I talk about when I say getting your own narrative. And it can be overwhelming, but this is also why I say have a spiritual connection because your spiritual guides and your spiritual team will lead you in the right direction. The last time I put chemical on my hair family was 2012. After that, I shaved my head and I, I started my locks. And now I've just gone Afro. But I'm one of those, you know, those 80s babies who our mother started relaxing our hair when we were as young as two, three years old which has meant that a lot of us have had issues with fibroids and all these things, and we couldn't correlate. But somehow the spirit led me 10 years before this research came out to go natural and to go into locks. And this is why family, if you can't do anything else for yourself in this season, Please connect to your spiritual team. Each and every one of you have at least one guardian or one ancestor walking with you. Go deeper even into yourself. You're not limited to the way you're thinking now. You have higher levels of consciousness that you can tap into. You're a way bigger spiritual being. But you've locked certain elevated parts of yourself off. And those parts that you've blocked off are the ones that can lead you to the truth or to just knowing what you need to do. Because we're back now into really being led by your self-family, being led by the most high in you, being led by your own spiritual team. That's the only way you're going to stay safe out there in this season and time. Because maybe by the time you're even reading this, you've already, if you're relying on, on the media to tell you what's up, some of you may even have already now cursed your daughters by also relaxing their hair. So this will help you, not even for your own life, but for the future. So develop your own narrative, family. And help us to keep sharing the African narrative with others by supporting us on Patreon or sending us a love donation through PayPal. If you've sent us a love donation through PayPal, we will definitely be sending you a gift in the mail. Or even consider advertising on the channel, family, and sponsoring a show. We've had amazing, amazing feedback from every single person that has advertised with us. A special shout out, of course, to our sister, Beverly B. Check out her album. Um, Ancient Healing Therapy. Well, you can see it here, family. And definitely check her out on YouTube because she's already starting. She started her healing ministry, and there's a lot that she's sharing on there. Until next time, family. Tuko pamoja.